Hello! 안녕하세요 여러분! 시펜입니다. Welcome to our Facebook Live broadcast here on Speak Like Korean ETS Topic Online. Yeah. Don't forget to share, comment down below, and like our page. So, uh, ilan na ba yung viewers natin? Hello! 안녕하세요 여러분! Viewers to our viewers. Ash, Onni, Precious Kim, Kurigo, Izaret, Annyeonghaseyo, Marinel Si, Annyeonghaseyo, Bajusasok, Kamsamnida. Thank you for watching. And ayan, haba nagpaparami tayo ng uh, viewers natin. Welcome sa ating episode 2 ng ating Korean EPS Skills Test Masterclass with me. I'm your instructor for today, Stephenimnida. Pangatsumda, Yorubun. It's nice to see you here. Welcome to. Uh, Ito, thank you for watching Kuya Kids, si Brian, uh, and then Jamerson Palatao. Cha, desu nga, annyeong. Kumawayo, kumawayo, de. Okay, so uh, this time to start our broadcast ngayon, I would like to start it by, uh, k- k- I want to congratulate everyone who just, uh, past and uh, kayo yung mga qualified na mag-move on sa ating skills test. I couldn't say na this is ano na talaga yung parang pasado na talaga kayo because not yet, hindi pa. This is not yet the end kasi this is just the first round of exam. So, should I call it congratulations because you are all qualified to move on sa ating second round of test which is the skills test. So, ilan lahat yung uh, ating uh, Mga pumasa, we have 8,110 passers for the EPS topic uh, round one. Chuka dim da yurbun, go sing mana shasayo. Good job, good job. Suge sim da. De, yan. 8,110 yung pumasa. Pero sabi nga daw nila, wala pa daw yun sa one fourth. I don't know if it's true. Wala pa daw yun sa one fourth sa lahat ng total na nag exam, na nag try mag exam. So, biru in yun. Ang dami palang Pinoy talaga na gustong magtrabaho sa South Korea as Correct. manufacturing in the manufacturing industry. O, oh, diba? Ang dami. I'm sure, lilinawin lang po natin na hindi po lang professionals or mga college graduates ang pinipili ng POEA na magtrabaho dito sa South Korea. Kundi anyone in whatever sector you are in, anumang natapos mo, hindi ka man nakatapos or high school graduate ka lang, basta pasok ka sa mga requirements, yung at least you are 18 to 37 years old, and then physical healthy ka, physically healthy, and then, ayun, as long as you have a passport, a valid passport, no uh, derogatory history dito sa South Korea, you've never been uh, parang the blacklist of this South Korea, lahat yan, as long as you're healthy and fit, and as long as you pass, the Korean Language Ability Test, which is the first round um, EPS topic exam. Okay, so again, I would like to congratulate Chukang Nidayurbun, those 8,110 na pumasa sa ating first round ng ating skills test. Oh, di ba? Pero, again, this is not yet final because malalaman nyo talaga ang final result on June 22. Mark your calendars, June 22. You all, Iship Ire. De, kumaji makikyolguanin, now kumida. De, lalabas dyan yung talagang final result, June 22. Kapag nakita nyo yung pangalan nyo, June 22 on the result day, yun na yun. Ibig sabihin nun, ikaw ay talagang pumasa na to work in South Korea and that your name will be included sa Job Seekers roster dito sa HRD Korea. So, it's not yet the end. Sa lahat ng 8,110, tsukaheo, de, congratulations. And uh, yun na nga. Ngayon, pag-uusapan natin bakit tayo nandito ngayon, bakit tayo nag-live. Because we would like to help you guys on your uh, second round of test, which is the skills test. So just to have a recap, skills test is composed of three parts. You have the physical test, which is 30 points. And then you have the interview, another 30 points. And the rest of the 40 points would be the basic skills. So lahat yan, we will talk about some of those um, tips. We will talk about that tonight. So ngayon, before we start, I would like to uh, show you again how skills test works. This is a video, exactly the same. Ganito, ganito po yung uh, gagawin ninyo on kailan yung exam? June 1 to June 6. So you will be scheduled um, one day, actually three hours ang exam ninyo sa skills test. Between June 1 to June 6, i-schedule kayo 
So, ganitong ganito po yung gagawin nyo on examination day sa skills test. So, I would like to watch you this video. 체력 시험은 양손의 악력을 측정하는 악력 과제와 배글력을 측정하는 배글력 과제로 구성되어 있고 외국인 근로자의 심장과 체중을 측정하여 사업주에게 제공하고 있습니다. 국내 사업장에서 일하기 어려운 색각 이상자는 다른 시험의 성적이 우수하더라도 불합격 처리가 됩니다. 면접의 경우 코리아 드림을 향한 외국인 근로자들의 열정을 곳곳에서 엿볼 수가 있는데요. 먼저 외국인 근로자는 면접관 앞에 서서 한국어로 자기소개를 합니다. 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 디바콜입니다. 만나서 반갑습니다. 제 나이는 서른 세상입니다. 다음으로 면접관의 질문에 질의응답을 하는 기초대화와 해당 업종에 필요한 장비의 사진을 보고 명칭을 말하는 명칭 맞추기 평가가 이루어집니다. 손전등, 소화기, 서울 또한 해당 업종의 근무 경력과 자격증 여부, 업무 태도 등을 평가하는 기초직업 능력 평가와 전반적인 말하기 능력을 평가하게 됩니다. 회사에서 일이 바꾸면 어떻게 하시겠습니까? 제일 끝나면 도와줄게요. 잘 저게 지난 겁니다. 이때 응시자의 면접 장면을 동영상으로 촬영하여 사업주에게 제공함으로써 외국인 근로자를 선택하는 데 도움을 주고 있습니다. 제조업에 응시하는 외국인 근로자는 기초 체력과 면접 시험 외에 제조업 공통 과제인 흰꽃기와 링걸기에 의무적으로 응시해야 합니다. 흰꽃기 과제는 작업판의 색상, 모양, 크기가 다른 핀을 제한된 시간 안에 정확히 꽂는 평가로 외국인 근로자의 민첩성과 상황 판단력을 평가하게 됩니다. 링걸기 과제는 작업물 거리대에 규격이 다른 링을 올바른 위치에 거는 평가로 외국인 근로자의 신속성과 규격에 대한 인지도를 평가하게 됩니다. 제조업 공통 과제 외에 각 세부 직종별로 특화 과제 평가를 하게 되는데요. 조립 직종을 선택한 외국인 근로자는 제한 시간 안에 두 종류의 볼트와 너트를 조립 해체하는 조립 평가에 응시하게 되고 계량 직종을 선택한 외국인 근로자는 제한 시간 안에 지정된 부피와 길이에 맞게 계량 계측하는 평가에 응시하게 됩니다. 접합 직종을 선택한 외국인 근로자는 제한 시간 안에 지급된 공구를 이용해 접합 작업을 하는 평가에 응시를 하게 되는데요. 이때 각 산업별 전문가는 작업의 숙련도와 완성도에 따라 점수를 차등하게 부여하여 우수한 외국 인력을 공정하게 선발하고 있습니다. 웰컴 백 sa ating episode 2 ng uh, Korean EPS Skills Test dito sa Masterclass with Stephen. I'm your uh, host for tonight. So don't forget to comment, like, and share our page. Speak like Korean EPS Topic Online. Yan. Okay. I would like to interact with you guys. Thank you for watching. Gusto ko sana batiin yung mga ilang mahalagang tao sa aking buhay. May son base watching Bernadette Laguardia. Hello, sambe. Anyaseyo. Ori man niyo. De, and my uh, si Miss Christine and Macan, hello, my consultant sa uh, Derma o oh, akala inyo yun, diba? Mga students ko, AR Bugto, hello, Marquez Montemayor, Zeth Hernandez, I would like to greet you all, and si John Arvintan. Thank you for watching. 
Saan kaya kayo, I would like to know, saan saan kayo nanonood? Like, uh, if you're watching from Davao, Cebu, please comment. Oo. Or, if you are here in South Korea, dito mismo sa South Korea, specifically in Seoul, di ba, baka magkita-kita tayo. So, please comment, saan po kayo nanonood? Yes! Yan, alright. Oo. Hi, Sir Stephen, sabi ni Miss Anna. Hi, Miss Anna! Hello, hi. Yan, aming secretary. Okay. So, habang naghihintay tayo ng... Uh, ng uh, ng mga comments pa. Yan, habang naghihintay tayo, I would like to do a uh, short review sa ating vocabulary. As we all know, importante po sa EPS topic, uh, sa skills test, specifically sa interview, pagdadaanan nyo sa interview yung uh, manufacturing tools ng mga vocabulary. So, syempre, this is a manufacturing industry, so very important sa interview nyo yung manufacturing tools. I think it is about 60 tools. There are, there are 60 tools na kailangan yung ma-memorize. Kasi the interviewer will show you a picture, ipapakita sa inyo yung mga manufacturing tools, katulad nito, ipapakita sa, ituturo sa inyo yung manufacturing tools and you will have to tell it in Korean. You have to answer it in Korean kung how do you tell it in Korean. So, for example, we have our first vocabulary here, manufacturing tools, we have the fork lift. So, how do you say fork lift in Korean? Please comment your answers. Mahalaga po na marunong kayong magsulat in Korean with correct spelling kasi mas madali nyo siyang mamememorize. So that's another tip ha, tatandaan niya. Practice yourself writing in Korean with the correct spelling para mas mamemorize nyo. So please comment down below what is forklift in Korean. In Korean, ang gumalo, jigecha. Good so much. So jigecha, jigecha forklift yo de. Next vocabulary, we have a hammer. Or Martini, how do you say that in Korean? Please comment, Mangchi. De, masayo, Mangchi. Mangchi nila, that is hammer. So, pag tinuro sa inyo, sa interview, yung picture ng uh, Martillo, you can say, Mangchi nila. You can say, Mangchi, or you can say, Mangchi nila. De, very good. Charis sa'yo, Ana Idea. Uy, ano ko yan, secretary ko yan, si Miss Ana. Charis sa'yo, da, Amiludax, Jigeta, masayo. And uh, Miss Sino to? Oh, from Davao City, Annalyn is watching from Batangas, from Pampanga, Kevin. Hi, Kevin! Kevin, hello, kamusta ka sa trabaho mo? Okay, sa sunda ko dami, we have our next vocabulary, we have the hexagon wrench. Ito, wrench. Sigurado to, makikita nito sa mga factories. How do you say wrench in Korean? Yukka krenchi. Bakit siya yukka krenchi? Yuk stands for six, kasi nga hexagon. Kito? Yuk is hexagon. Kaya hexagon wrench, ibig sabihin in Korean, yukka krenchi. Oh, pakisulat, comment down. Because if you know how to write in uh, Hangul, it's easy for you to to memorize it in Korean. So, yukka krenchi, that is a hexagon wrench. Our next vocabulary is, what's this? What is this sign? It's part of manufacturing tools. We have a warning. Tatandaan nyo. If the word... Um, when you say warning in Korean, that is Gyeonggo. Gyeonggo is warning in Korean. So, it, these are the warning signs. Ano tong may kidlat na to? It means a uh, high voltage or high tension electricity. So, how do you say that? Gongap jonggi. Gongap jonggi. Anin de bongge malgo. Sir Nash, no? Okay. High tension electricity in Korean is called kapag nakita kayo ng kidlat with the triangular shape. Ibig sabihin ng triangular, those are warning. Okay? Pag nakita kayo mga signs sa triangular, those are warning. And the kidlat, which means, um, uh, kung hap dyan, high tension electricity. Next vocabulary we have is, what is this? Ito sa com company, meron ito. Yes, pampaano ito eh, pampadulas. Di ba, kapag so, nangalawang yung isang uh, bakal, lalagyan mo siya nito, esperen yan, para dumula siya ulit. So, it's called lubricant oil. Pero hindi po ito yung lubricant na ibig sabihin, so, gusto nga sabihin ni <laughs> Sir Nash. Lubricant, oh, how do you say? Hanggang mga low to kaya, de, oh, de. It's good? Oh, de, oh, de. So, comment down, what is lubricant oil in Korean? Bang chom yu, de, bang chom yu. Lubricant uh, oil. Next, we have uh, ito. Para sa mga pumili sa skills test ng assemble, if you guys know what you what did you register you assemble so mga pumili sa skills test when you register assemble this is what you're going to do you will assemble a bolts 
and nuts. So how do you say bots and nuts in Korean? It's called uh, nuts. Ganon din, oh, yung nuts. Bots is bots and nuts is nuts. Or shall we call it amnasa and sunasa. Amnasa is nuts, sunasa is bots. So those are bots and nuts. Please comment. Charisayo, Rizaret. Pauline C, Precious Kim, Chigisimda, De Arvin, very good. Miss Anna, Bang Chong Yu, Chigisimda, thank you guys. Kailangan po nagpa participate kayo, hindi lang para dumaming comments natin, because based on my own experience, if you really want to memorize vocabularies easily, you have to practice it by writing. So you have to write in Korean with the correct spelling, para mas madali niyo siyang memorize. Okay, so that's a tip. Next is we have a palette. Palette, same in Korean. Palette, palette, the palette. And kadaame, we have uh, our last. Is this our last vocabulary? The pipe French. Ganon din siya in Korean language. Pipe French. Pipe French. Comment down below. Pipe French. Oh, laging nangunguna si Miss. Very good. Basta KLC talaga Miss Ana idea. <laughs> Don't forget to visit KLC. It's located okay, in Guadalupe. Nandung si Miss Ana. Oh, Piper Renchi. Tarasunda. Amilu. Tarasayo. Precious Kim and Arvin. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching episode 2 of our Korean EPS Skills Test. Okay, after our uh, vocabulary, ito pa na kailangan yung tandaan. Kapag na memorize na yung uh, Manufacturing tools, proceed kayo sa isa pang pagdadaanan nyo on skills test. But this time, ito pong test na to ay kasama sa physical test. So this will be included in the physical test part and it's called a color blind test. So this time, I will be showing you a couple of, a couple of pictures and I want you guys to tell me. Please comment down below kung ano yung figure, yes, it could be a figure, it could be a shape, or it could be a number. So whatever figure you guys are seeing, whatever lines or numbers you guys are seeing, please comment it down below. This is called a colorblind test. So, base uh, sa shade, ano ba color colorblind test? Yung iba sa inyo, baka hindi nyo alam, colorblind pala kayo, no? Base sa mga colors or shades ng color, meron, pag color blind ka kasi, meron certain shades of color na hindi mo nakikita. Yung orange sa yung mukhang red, yung blue sa yung mukhang uh, something like that, dark, okay. So, uh, this time, please comment what is the color that you're seeing right now. Ta, talboyo, yorubun. Igo, miat ba ni Mika, yorubun. Ta, comment down below, chukchi chiseyo. Sini una na comment, Miss Sini una na comment ng number four. Oh, Gil Gilier, Jason, Anna, Arvin, Charistoyo, Angelin. Next, number. What are you guys seeing? What is this number? Our second colorblind test. What is this number? Akala nyo ha. Ano yan? Anong number yan? What is this number? Miyot ba nimi ka yorubun? Ha? Mare, Jiseyo. What is this number? I don't have a number. <laughs> Parang di ko one. Na. Huh? One. 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 Okay, the correct answer is Ilbon. That's number one. So, kapag tinanong kayo ng uh, doctor, ng, uh, dun sa physical test, kapag pinakita niya yung picture sa inyo, you just tell a number. It could be English, it could be Korean. Pero, sa last year na IPS topic po, Filipina. Filipina doctor yung nagpapa-exam sa colorblind test. Hindi siya Korean. So, pag napansin nyo, Pinay naman na doctor yung mapupunta sa inyo sa colorblind test, papakita niya yung mga picture, you can tell your answer in English. So, if you see number, what is this number? What is this number? Comment down below. If you see this number, you can say it in English. So, kapag Pinay yung doctor, you can say it in English. It's number two, ne? Ibon. Number two, Ibon. Kurigo, next. Dekadame, what is this number? Not ba nimi kayo rubun? Comment, chichiseyo, tekkere. What is this number? Anong number yung nakikinig? Again, this is a colorblind test. It's part of your physical strength test na pagdadaan sa stress test. So, anong number ito ang nakikita ninyo? Kala nyo. Ano yan? Ano nga ba number? Hindi ko rin makikita. Five! Talaga ba? Five ba yan? No, I think it's six. Five yan, five yan. 
Okay, next tayo. Okay, kuri ko. Next, we have... Yeah, what is this number? May ba ni Mnikayo rin? So, papakitaan kayo ng libro ng isang doctor. I... I... Um, i-scan lang niya yung page ng libro sa inyo sa colorblind test. Tapos sasabihin niya lang yung number or figure na nakikita niyo. If it is a figure, if it is a line, mga line, susundan niyo siya ng kamay niyo. But if it is a number, you yeah, just have to tell it in English. So what is this number? Chilbon. Chilbon yung nila. Yorubun. This is a number 7. Okay. Sino mga nakakawa number 7? Okay. Very good. Okay. Kram. Okay. Bamba. Charis sa'yo. Gary. You got it right. Roji and Cheta. Okay. Kill Alex. Very good. Okay. Now, if it's not a number, it might be a figure. Kung animals. Yan. Ano yung nakikita niyong animal right now? You have to tell it sa doctor na magpapa-skills test sa inyo. Magpapa-colorblind test sa inyo. So, what is this animal or what is this figure that you are seeing right now? Iku moyo. Yorubun. Deh. Moyo. Yorubun. You have to comment down below. What is the figure or animal that is... Ano yan? Ano yan? Ano yan? Ano yan? Ano yan? Okay. Next figure natin. Okay. Ano to? <laughs> Kasalanan to ni Sir Nash, mga, <laughs> mga kapamilya ha. Hindi pa ako may gawa niyan. Si Sir Nash ang pamilya. Ay, ano so, what is the figure that you are seeing right now? <laughs> Wala ka. Uwi, Anna. <laughs> okay. So, that is a colorblind test. Depende sa doctor kung ilang uh, picture yung ipapakita po sa inyo. No? Depende sa doctor. Yung iba, tatlong picture, tatlong colorblind test, yung iba, lima. Yung iba, anim. So, depende sa doctor. Kapag nakita nyo Pinay yung doctor or Pilipino yung doctor, you can just say it in English. Okay? So, colorblind test. Ngayon pa lang po, kailangan mag-practice na kayo. It's called Ishihara test. Ishihara test, a colorblind test. Okay? So, this is part of your physical test on the skills test exam. Okay? So, next number is, what is this? What figure? What number are you seeing right now? Again, it's colorblind test. Okay, Shibi Ball, Majayo. It's number 12. Very good, Kay Kram. Or Roji, Charisar, Matetsi, Joishi, Rizaret, Nicole, Charisimba. So that means, lahat ng shade ng color nakikita ninyo kapag wala kayong problema. If you don't find it very difficult to see, to recognize a number or a figure or a lines or dot, Ibig sabihin, okay kayo. Hindi kayo colorblind. Yan. Yeah. So, alright. This is our last number. It's called number 4. Yes. O, yan. After ng colorblind test, ano pa i-explain nyo sa ating interview? Ah, sorry. Sa ating skills test. Okay. Pagkatapos po ng colorblind test, sa interview part naman, pagdadaanan nyo din yung uh, numbers. So, the interview will show you a number... And then, you have to tell it in Korean. Ito, dahil Korean po yung mag interview sa inyo sa interview part ng skills test. So, you have to tell it in Korean as well. So, uh, welcome sa mga ating viewers, mga bagong dating po. Episode 2 of our Korean EPS skills test masterclass with me, your host, Stephen. Okay, welcome. Maraming salamat po. Sino ba yung mga nanonood sa atin ngayon? Jake, Matet, yan, Annalyn. Please comment kung saan po kayo nanonood. Are you guys watching in the Philippines or nandito kayo sa South Korea or any other Asian countries or saan po yung region nyo sa Philippines? Taga saan kayo sa Philippines? Where are you guys watching? Kanyang gugo mas tayo. I want to know. De, o di ninji. So, I want to know where are you guys watching. So, um, thank you for watching. So aside from the colorblind test, pagdadaanan din yung numbers. Anong kailangan nyo i-prepare when it comes to numbers? At least you memorize 1 to 100. How would you say 1 to 100 in Korea? So marami po nagtatanong, ayan may nagko-comment sa atin, Sir, ano po bang gagamitin na pagbibilang dito sa numbers? Is it a pure Korean counting number or a Sino-Korean? For for um, based on experience, no, you have to use a Sino Korean counting number. So yun yung il, i, sam, sa, o yung chill, pal, ship. You have to use that. So ngayon, I will show you a number. What is this number? How do you say this in Korean? I want you to write in Korean. How do you say? How do you say 32 in Korean? Dahil Korean po yung mag-interview sa inyo on the interview part. So you have to tell this, what is this 
number in Korea. 네, 자몇 번이에요? 이거 몇 번입니까, 여러분? 댓글 적게 주세요. Please comment down below. How do you say 32 in Sino Korean? Counting number. 네, 32. How do you say that? Sino Korean. Okay, we have uh, the first commenter, Gil Al Alex. 10, 아니다, 32분. Oh, no, it's not 분, huh? Sir Gil Alex, it should be bon, bon. 네, 32번. Okay, next. 32번. Next number is... Wait, wait. Uh, 51. How do you say 51 okay. in Korean? How do you say 51 in Korean? So, dapat alam niya yung sabihin in Sino Korean counting number. So, pag tinuro sa inyo ng Korean na nag interview 51, paano mo yan sasabihin? So, sinong na ako ng tamang sagot? Number 51. Sino ang magko-comment ng tamang sagot? Okay, GB4. <gasps> Genesis is watching. Hi, Genesis. Chang Segea. De, Polly. Chikmo, di ha? De. Chujikeso? Saan ka ngayon, Genesis? May commercial tayo na. Okay. Please message me, Genesis. So, how do you say 51 in Korean? Oship Ilbon. Oship Ilbon. You can say 51번 in the interview. 51번. How do you say 98 in Korean? 98. What is the correct answer? 98. Very good, Miss Anna. Very good, Cesar. Yeah. Pero Sir Cesar, I recommend ha. You have to say. You have to write in Hangul. Okay. Pero tama yung sagot. Very good. Charisoyo. Hi, Sir Cesar. Kamusta ka? Lee, Ash, Jeremy. Thank you, guys. Okay. What is 98 in Korean? Sabi ni Sir Jeremy Kupal daw. <laughs> That's not how you say 98. <laughs> yes, Ku is 98 is Pal. But you, you don't say Kupal. Ha? 98 is Gushib Pal. Very good. Kay ating uh, Norman. Sir Norman, mate. Kilye, charis tayo. Gushib Pal po is 98. Gushib Pal. Kupal malgo yo. De, Gushib Pal yeh. Gushib Pal. 18, how do you say in Korean? Wag niyo masyado nang i-emphasize ang pagsasabi ng 18 because in Korean, merong curse, merong mura nakatunog ang number 18. Alam ko, alam niyo ng mga ex-Korean natin, no? So, how do you say 18 in Sino-Korean counting numbers? 18. What is this number? Yorubu, that could you say, oh, comment your answer. De, got mo nimi ka. Got mo nimi ka. Got mo nimi ka. What is this number? De. Sino na ka koha? Ramil. Shipal bot. You say shipal bot. De. Norman Shi. Oh, Natividad Morales. Arsa yo. Norman. Jeremy. Sister Jeremy, ha. Shibal po yun. Shibal is a bad word in Korean. Shipal is a bad word in Korean. So, 18 is called Shipalbon. Shipalbon. Kadame, what is this number? Miyotbon niyo. Miyotbon niyo nika. How do you say 10? Sige nga. How do you say 10 in Korean? How do you say 10? Okay. Murel. Oh. Hi, Murel. Thank you for watching. Kevin O'Connor. Thank you guys for watching. Kamusta kayo? Happy holidays. I'm sure wala kayong trabaho sa... Wala kayong pasok sa trabaho. Annalyn Chipalbon. Madayo. Melody. Bon is spelled as B-U-P o and Nian. Bon. Bon. Chipalbon. Chipalbon. Ramil. Charis sa'yo. Ash Onni. Charis sa'yo. And our last number is 99. How do you say 99? Second to the last number. 99. How do you say... 99 in Korean. Kapag ito yung tinuro ng Korean sa inyo, how do you say it in Korean? Sino Korean? Counting number 99. Oh. Sa, miyot ba niya? 99. Hanggum malot ka yun. 99. Miyot ba niya? De. How do you say? Oh. Very good, Gilier. Ruiz. Charis tayo. Gushib Kubon. Gushib Kubon. Gushib Kubon is 99. Oh, very good. Mark Luis, Randy Francisco, Jake Valencia. Charis to. Ang gagaling naman pala ng mga viewers natin, Sir Nash. Second to the last is another 45. How do you say? 45. Paano mo sasabihin yan sa Korean? 45. Thank you, guys. Just comment down below. 45. How do you say? 45. Kailangan marunong kayo magbilang. Alam nyo, kahit wala ito sa skills test, important ito sa pamumuhay dito sa South Korea. Kasi when you go to the market, di ba Sir Nash? When you buy things, when you order food, when you count money, 
di- digits or numbers are very important. So, mahalaga po ito, ha? So, how do you say 45? Sinong nakakuha ng tamang sagot? Oh! Sino? Wala, may delay. Okay, Mark Luis, Sari sa'yo, Saship Ubon. Saship Ubon, mga sa'yo. Mate, Saship Ubon. Oh, Gil, Alex, Lee, Roji. Oh, Sari sa'yo da. Saship Ubon is 45. And last... Favorite mo nga tato, ha? Favorite ni Sir Nash na number. Hindi, si Sir Nash may... May isala niyan. What is 69? How do you say 69 in Korea? Ang gumalo, 69. Oh, tika yun, deo. De, 69. How do you say? Sa pagtinuro ng interviewee, uh, interviewer, 69. Oh, how do you say that in Korea? Paano ang 69 sa Korean? How do you say 69 in Korean? Sinong unang sasagot dito? Comment your answer, 69 in Korean. Very good, Alex. Kill Alex Villega, Charestoyo, Arvin Lelis. Very good. How do you say 69? Good. 69. 69. 69. Mate, Charestoyo. Arnold, 69. Ne, 69. 69. So, paano ang 69 sa Korean? 69. Balik tara. Balik tara. 69. Ne, mazayo, Charestoyo. Sugar sa mida, palakpakan! Okay, sarap sa yurbun. Sugar mana siya sa yo. De. Yan. Ang dami yung pagdadaan sa skills test. So, aside from colorblind test, aside from numbers. Next is another part of interview. Dito sa um, skills test exam. Okay. Is the movement instructions. Movement instructions. Pero bago ang lahat, bumati muna tayo. Thank you ha sa lahat ng uh, sumusubaybay dito sa EPS Topic Online. Yan. Speak like Korean EPS Topic Online. So please don't comment, uh, don't forget to comment. Don't forget to comment, to like, and to share. Kasi napapansin ko, ang dami nagtatanong sa mga groups talaga. Paulit-ulit lang yung tanong. Yung iba bagong dating, iba talaga first timers, iba zero talaga yung idea nila about the skills test. Yes, napasan nila, pero wala silang ka-idea-idea sa skills test. So, you might want to share it with your friends, with your loved ones na alam niyong pumasa dun sa first round. So, don't forget to share this page. Speak Like Korean, EPS Topic Online. Yan, our Facebook live broadcast. So, uh, episode 2 na tayo, mga, uh, mga kapuso, kapamilya. Episode 2 na tayo dito sa ating uh, Korean EPS Topic Skills Test Masterclass with me, Stephen Imida. De. Thank you, Leynera Natividad Morales, for watching. God bless you too. Thank you po. Kamsamida. De. Sukbuka sa iyo. Jake Valencia, maraming salamat. Charo, Mark Louis, Melody Arnold. Salamat po sa pagsubaybay. So, i-comment nyo dito yung mga kaibigan nyo na alam nyo yung pumasa sa first round ng EPS Topic Exam. Sa mga kakilala nyo na kabilang dun sa 8,110 na pumasa sa EPS Topic, please comment down their names para alam nila tong mga review na ginagawa natin dito sa episode 2 ng ating masterclass dito sa skills test review natin. Okay? Thank you, Anson. Anson Lungalong. Oh, this him. Sabi niya, pabati naman. Ha, ha, ha. Ganun nga siguro talaga ka-importante yung ano, no? Batiin mo yung kakilala mo on, okay. on screen, no? Okay, ganun bala. Okay, Anson, kamusta yung bago mong phone? Wow, congratulations, ha? We will talk again, ha? Message me. Okay, na yun. Laksa sa'yo. Okay, let's proceed sa ating last part ng ating interview sa ating last tip or last review ng uh, ano natin, episode natin tonight which is the instructions okay so this instructions it's called hengdong uh, jishio hengdong jishio ibig sabihin is movement instructions hengdong is movement diba when you take instructions again this is part of the interview na gagawin niyo on skills test so instructions is part of the Sorry, interview na pagdadaanan yung on the skills test exams. Okay. So, ano itong mga instructions, movement instructions? Once na pinapasok kayo sa room, so sa interview part, one by one, papapasokin kayo sa room, isa-isa. Okay. Tapos, you will introduce yourself. Ayan. Tapos, magtatanong ng ilang mga katanungan in Korean. Mga, any any questions under the sun in Korean, magtatanong yung interviewer. What's your birthday? Uh, what's your favorite color? What's your hobby? And then, 
magtatanong din siya ng movement instructions habang nakatayo ka. Okay, pagpasok mo sa isang room, sa interview part, habang nakatayo ka, sasabihin niya, Oh, Drew sa'yo, apuro na ako sa'yo, please come forward. Sasabihin niya ng interviewee sa'yo, apuro na ako sa'yo, ibig sabihin, come forward. And then, dun magsisimula yung movement instruction ano part. Instruction? So, ano yung unang instruction? Ano yung unang, paano to? Ayaw naman. Ano yung unang instruction na maari nga sabihin sa inyo? sa EPS skills test, sa interview part dito ah, ayan. So, I will show you a couple of movement instructions na pwedeng itanong sa inyo ng interviewer. So, how do you say, pag sinabi ng interviewer sa inyo, Orunson, Orun, Orunson, Oruseo. Orunson, Oruseo. So, pag sinabing Oruseo, tandaan nyo guys, Oruseo is to race. Race. Itaas mo, Oruseo. In Korean, race. Race. Oruseo. And when you say, You bring it down, ano yun sa Korean? Bring it down, neriseyo. Neriseyo is to bring down, neriseyo. To bring, raise your hand, to bring up, raise is oruseyo. Oruseyo. And bring down is neriseyo. So pag sinabi, how do you say, kanang kamay, kaliwang kamay, how do you say that in Korean? Raise your right hand, right hand is orunson. Orunson. So pag sinabi ng interviewer, raise your right hand, orunson, oruseyo. Orunson, oruseo. Bring down, bring it down. Neriseo. Neriseo, bring it down. Ibaba mo yung kamay mo, neriseo. Next instruction is, kailangan, alam nyo ha, orun is kanan, wenchok is kaliwa. Dapat alam nyo yan. Okay, wen is kaliwa and orun is kanan. Okay. Next is to raise your left hand. So what is left hand? Wenson. When son is kaliwang kamay. When son. So again, ito yung keyword natin. When the speaker says, Oruseo, which means race. Oruseo. Oruseo is to race. At kapag sinabi niyang ibaba, bring it down. Neriseo. Bring it down. Neriseo. So, bring down your left hand. Orun son. Left hand. When son. Neriseo. Raise your left hand. When son. Oruseo. Neriseo. Oruseo. Oruseo, neriseo. Yan. Ha? Tatandaan nyo. Oruseo is to raise and to bring down is neriseo. Neriseo. Kadami. Next sa ating movement instruction is to put it down. Yan. Please bring down your both hands. So pag sinabing both hands in Korean, do son. Do son. Yan. Or yang son. Pag sinabi yang son, both hands din yan. Ha? Tandaan niyo po. Magsulat kayo. Yang son and do son, which means both hands. Yang son, do son. Pares lang yun sa Korean. Do son, ibig sabihin dalawang kamay. Do son. Or, another word is yang son. Yang son. Yang son. So, pag sinabi, oruseyo, oruseyo, raise your both hands. Oruseyo, oruseyo, raise. Pag sinabi, Yang son, neriseyo. Tu son, neriseyo. Bring it down. Okay, neriseyo. Yan ang ating tatandaan. Kurigo, next is to turn around. Yan, how do you say about face? Diba sa English? How do you say to turn your face back? How do you say that? To turn your face back or about face in English? About face. Harap sa likod. Sa Tagalog. Harap sa likod. About face. How do you say that in Korean? Duiro dura soseo. Dui kasi is likod, di ba? In Korean, back is dui. Dui. Okay. Dui. Dui. Oh, mosin ne? Oh, sasin kisan ne? Back is dui. So pag sinabing harap sa likod, about face or turn your face at the back, how do you say that in Korean? Duiro dura soseo. Dwi ha, tatandaan nyo yung dwi. That's the key term. Dwi is likuran. So, dwiro dura soseo. Dwiro soseo. So, pag nasa likod ka, sasabihin niya, harap ulit sa harapan, face up front. Sasabihin sa inyo, face up front. So, paano yung sasabihin? What is front in Korean? Apuro. Apuro dura soseo. Apuro dura soseo is to face in front. Yan, face up front. Face up front in Korean is apuro. Tatandaan niyo yung up. Apuro is front. Apuro dura soseo. 
앞으로 돌아서세요. 야, 뒤로 돌아서세요. About face. 앞으로 돌아서세요. As face up front. To look to your right. 하랍사카는 look to your right. How do you say that in Korean? 오른쪽 보세요. 오른쪽 다 뜬다뇨. The keyword is 오른쪽. 이비스비엔 가난. 오른쪽 보세요. 오른쪽 보세요. 빠르네 매용. Look to your left. 하랍사리와. How do you say that in Korean? What is left? 왼쪽. 왼쪽 보세요. 왼쪽 보세요. Is to look to your left. 왼쪽 보세요. 하랍사리 끝. 아사. 까리와. 왼쪽 보세요. 그 다음에 to look down. 그냥 가상의 인사 movement instruction is to look down. 어디 나 비는 interviewer? 네 아래로 보세요. 아래로 보세요. 아래로 보세요. 어디 they look down? 아래. Okay, you look down. 아래 in Korean. 얼 밑에 밑에 보세요. 아래로 보세요. 아래로 보세요. And to take a seat. 아야나. 어디 다보스 몽둥해요. At go in 라하드 movement instruction. 사하냐 바빠 오포에 네 감사합니다 앉으세요 앉으십시오 or 일로 와요 앞으로 나오세요 일로 와요 야 그래서 미세요 take a seat 앉으세요 네 앉으세요 앉으세요 오케이 thank you 사팅아 mga viewers na nanonood ngayon ha this is again this is our episode two ng ating uh, Korean Ipeskus Test Masterclass with me Stephen Imnida de thank you guys for watching so yan ang mga gagawin niyo part of the physical test yung color blind and then part ng interview naman is the numbers and the movement instructions pagkatapos yung mag introduce ng sarili niyo so lahat yan pagdadaanan niyo ha kaya may pagkakataon pa kung pasang awang score niyo sa EPS, may pagkakataon pa para mahata kayo pataas. Kasi kung sino lang yung mga high scorer, dun sila magbibilang ng number of quota or number of workers na kailangan nila dito sa South Korea. So ngayon, hanggang dito na lang po ang ating review. Okay, Yogi Gaji, matsikin sa'yo yorobun. Hanggang dito na lang yung ating mga pag-uusapan. So, any questions, kung buhang ko isim yun, that kid you sa'yo, chuk kid you sa'yo, please comment. Is there any question? May mga tanong po ba kayo? I want you guys to comment down below. Lahat na mga tanong niyo, we still have 15 more minutes to read and answer all your questions about EPS topic skills test exam. So, ano po ba yung mga tanong? Okay. Ayan, sabi ni Sir Eds. Ayan, babatiin mo na natin yung mga nanonood sa atin ngayon, ha? Sir Eds, very helpful po to Sir. Thanks to both of you. De, chong pa niyong love yun. Biyol, malasin milyo yun, Rubun. Wala pong ano, ha? De, ginagawa namin to para, para, you know, gusto namin kasi makita namin kayo dito sa South Korea. So, we can't wait to see you guys here. Kung uh, hindi nagagawa ng maayos na ng ating mga government agency, tayong gagawa nito as long as we have the Ah, uh, no, as, as long as we're capable to do it. Okay. Sabi ni Sir Kev Kev, sabi niya, Sir, saan ang introduction tips nyo? Ayan. Yes. Actually, Sir Kev, on our first episode, we talked about a simple tips or a short tips about how to introduce yourself. Jagi Soge. So, scan mo na lang itong page natin. Speak like Korean it's topic online makikita mo yung episode 1 natin kung saan pinag-usapan natin yung to introduce yourself okay any questions sabi ni Miss Ash thank you sir Nash helpful talaga ito ayan nasa si sir Nash nasa si sir Nash ikaw daw oh thank you ayan si sir Nash oo si sir Nash ang uh uh the person behind of all of this behind talaga okay behind literal nasa likod ko siya So, literal na behind ko siya ngayon, nalaglag pa siya on my uh, behind. Okay. Ms. Rox, sabi ni Ms. Rox, tingin po sa taas, paano po yun? Ah, okay, kung meron tayong look down, ariro buseo, look up is wiro buseo. Wiro, because we is top in Korean or up, we. So, when the interviewer says, wiro buseo, wiro buseo, tingin sa taas, wiro buseo. Wiro buseo, arero buseo. Orun choguro buseo, wen choguro buseo. Wiro buseo, apro buseo. Apro, dora buseo. Yeah, in Korean. Any question? 
Sister RA got neck. Sabi niyang ganun. How about the competency test po? Okay. To give you, nasa yung PDF natin. Sige. To give you a clarification about the competency test, competency test is just an optional. Tatandaan niyo po yan. Anong ibig sabihin ng competency test? Ito yung pagpapasa ng mga certificates ng mga vocational course ninyo, ng mga employment certificate ninyo sa POEA. So, you need to register kailan yung exact date natin na yon sa POEA, kung kailan kayo magpapasa. If you guys want to submit certificates, vocational course, and mga training experiences ninyo sa POEA, yun yung tinatawag na competency test. So, you would need to register kailan yon You need to register on May. If you guys are participating, this is just an optional. Tatandaan nyo yan. Competency test is just an optional. So, uh, okay. Ayan. So, uh, this is for the question of Sir uh, Sinay na nagdanong. Okay lang yan. It's okay. Okay, para to sa question ng uh, isa nating viewer, sabi niya, how about daw yung competency test? So, this is uh, the competency test that the POE is talking about. It's okay. Okay. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. Ayan. Para, ta para to sa competency test, no? So, to give you a clarification, ang competency test po is just an optional. Okay, this is part of the skills test. Ah, it's not part of the skills test. Ito. Candidates, basahin po natin sabay-sabay for the second round of test, which is the skills test, and the competency test. Sabi niyang ganun. Candidates who wish to participate in the competency test must submit required documents to POEA. Yun yung sinasabi niyang registration period. Yun yung submission period. That would be... From May 3 to May 7, it's 5 days. You have 5 days to register to submit all the required documents if you guys want to participate in the competency test. As we all know, competency test is 5 points. It consists of 5 points. So, tatandaan nyo yung date. Kung may mga certificates kayo, vocational course, na pasok sa mga hininging documents ng POEA as part of the competency test, you need to register, you need to submit it on May 3 to May 7. Okay. So, ang tanong, ano-ano yung mga documents or evidences for the competency test? Basahin natin sabay-sabay. Number one category is your work experiences. So, you can choose either number one, certificate of career. Ano ibig sabihin ng certificate of career? It can be submitted when one can get certificate of career by a company. Certificate of Career. Yan yun. For foreign company daw, the certificate from the recruitment agency can be acknowledged. Or number two, you can submit a document to verify one's employment. Ayan natin yung tinatawag natin Certificate of Employment. Ito yung, if one cannot get Certificate of Career because of the bankruptcy of the company or agency, for foreign company employment history in the two small-scale business or unauthorized business common in agriculture, stock breeding field, one can fill in the documents in attach two and three and submit. Yeah. Another category is the training course completion. Ito yung mga certificate. Training course completion. These are the certificate of training course completion nyo. It must be original daw. Kailangan pagpunta nyo sa POEA, it must be the original document. So, it can be submitted when one can get certificate of training course completion, including the overseas courses. Kung may mga experience kayo abroad, including uh, from the government or private institution. Yan yung training course completion. Yung pag-aaral nyo po sa mga training uh, Korean Language Training Center is not part of this training course completion. Again, kailangan po it must be related sa manufacturing industry. Another category is academic background. If you guys have an academic background, dapat original din yung isasubmit nyo. These are the Certificate of Graduation, Certificate of Expected Graduation, and Degree Certificate. So, kung meron kayong mga academic background, pwedeng-pwede yan. 
ipasa sa POEA. Submit copy of certificate and bring the original document on the test page. Ayan. And last category na kasama sa ating competency test is the national certificate. This is a copy of national certificate or the original of confirmation document. Only national certificates that are based on national system including official test can be used. So to give you a uh, clearer explanation, ito po yun. Ito yung mga training course completion or national certificate na pwede niyong ipasa as part of the competency test. The number one is the work experiences. Basahin natin sabay-sabay ha. Even though a candidate has a work history in the applied industry, which is the manufacturing po, the work experience will be impermissible if the experience is irrelevant. Ibig sabihin ng impermissible, it's not qualified. Hindi yun kasama sa pwede niyong ipasa. Kung hindi naman siya relevant sa manufacturing industry. So, experiences, ito yun. Experiences, these are not part of the, these are the irrelevant uh, experiences, ha? Experiences in sales, human resources, accountants, and education, public service, except for technician daw, agriculture, stock breeding, and fishery. Lahat ng yan are irrelevant. It's not part Exceptionally, previous instructors in the applied industry could submit in the related document. For example, a previous instructor or assembly could be qualified to use experience for manufacture. Another is a training course completion. If a training course is not relevant in manufacturing industry, the history is impermissible. It's BM, it's not qualified. For example, nursing. Yan po yung mga hindi qualified na training course na pwede nyo ipasa ha. No need to pass this. Hindi ito kasama. Nursing, accountant, racing, leadership development course are not permissible. They are not included. And the last one is national certificate. If a national certificate is not relevant to the manufacturing industry, the candidate couldn't submit copy of national certificate or the original confirmation document. For example, and ito yung mga Ah, hindi kasama driving license, language certificate, vocational license, and medical pharmacist lawyer's license are not permissible. No need to pass those. So again, ang mga documents lang ay should be related sa manufacturing industry natin. So please mark your calendar. Ito yung mga important dates na kailangan ninyo uh, sa lahat ng nakapasa for the EPS. These are the important dates na kailangan yung tandaan. Okay, for the skills test. So, announcement of skills test. Natandaan nyo to. Okay, there you go. Announcement of skills test dates and place will be posted on May 25. So, saan? Marami pa rin nagtatanong saan daw nila makikita. Sa POEA and the HRD website and EPS HRD nyo lang po makikita yung pag announce nila ng skills test date and place. Mark your calendar, May 25 is the announcement of skills test date and place. So, para sa lahat ng 8,110 na mga pumasa, hanapin ninyo yung schedule ninyo. Makikita yan on May 25. Kung anong araw kayo, between June 1 to June 6 mag -e exam Makikita nyo kung anong lugar, kung umaga ba kayo or panghapon. Malalaman nyo yan sa May 25. And the actual skills test would be on June 1 to June 6. Again, i-schedule po kayo. This is very important for the last, bago tayo magtapos. You need to remember this websites kasi dito nila ilalabas lahat ng information for the skills test. So don't forget to follow or lagi kayo mag-update sa www.poa.gov.ph or sa website ng EPS, www.eps.go.kr or sa website ng HRD Korea, that is http semicolons.epstopic.hrdkorea.or.kr Yan lang po ang susundan ninyo. I'm sure lahat ng mga nagmamahal sa inyo ipopost yan sa mga Pinoy groups. Okay, so dito rin sa EPS Topic Online, ipopost natin lahat ng uh, relevant information. So, thank you guys for joining me tonight on our episode 2. EPS Topic Masterclass with me, Stephen. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Sino yung mga... Okay, may mga tanong. Chard, sabi niya, bookkeeping test daw. Pwede, sir. Bookkeeping daw. 
I think kapag NC2 certificate po is uh, included. Kapag test the certificate, kasama yun. It's qualified sa mga certificates na pwede nyo ipasa. Okay. O, meron tanong si Sir Erwin Dallas Reyes sa Monte. Electrical technology po pala. Pwede po kaya ipasa yung TOR? Electrical technology, I think, yes. Because that is relevant sa manufacturing industry. Yung mga, kasi technician, yan. They have experiences sa electric Electrical uh, experiences and technician, pwede yan ipasa Sir Erwin. Ano pa yung mga tanong? Oh, Eds Getteruela, sabi niya, October 5, 2010, September 9, 2013. Ano yan? Ah, yung, uh, yes, at least you have one year experience, kailangan nyo yun ipasa. Pwede po ba sa competency test and diploma sa college? IT diploma, ganun, yes. You can pass that on uh, POEA, sa POEA natin. Okay, Janelle, pa-shout out daw. Hi, Sir Janelle. Anya sa'yo. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Yogi Kaji, matikisinda. Sal, buwa jusyo so. Kamsa jureyo de. See you guys next week. Or next next week, we will post that here. Sa ating uh, page, Speak Like Korean ETS Topic Online. Thank you for watching! Anyi kaseyo, yorubun! Kamsahamnida! Tobrep kisayo! Annyeong! Annyeong!